Hi, I'm Rich and welcome to the Rich Tech Guy channel. In this video, we are going on location to Cisco Live, the uh, big Cisco IT conference that uh, you know used to happen every year, but this is the first time it's gone on in three years uh, due to uh, you know, the uh, reasons that we all know of around the world. So uh, I'm excited about this. This will be a good week of some learning and some fun and uh, finding out what's new with Cisco and Cisco technologies and solutions. So uh, please come join me on uh, this voyage here to Las Vegas, Nevada and Cisco Live. All right, I'm in Las Vegas, uh, ready for Cisco Live. All right, so I'm in my hotel now. Uh, just got in after the uh, short hop over from Arizona. And uh, now I'm gonna go get my pass and uh, let's go check out what's going on at Cisco Live. All right, so pretty easy experience overall getting the pass. However, one thing is, is the uh, app for the event. There's a, a QR code, which um, it didn't uh, really scan. So anyways, once I inputted my data, everything was fine. But after that, uh, went over and picked up the uh, obligatory swag. And so let's here we are. We've got the Cisco Live backpack. They give you a backpack every year. Um, you know, these are pretty standard fare backpacks you know I actually have a bit of a collection of them going back to all the Cisco lives that I've attended so in here we've uh, got my pass so that's uh, that'll get me in on all the events and the, the show and everything and then uh, okay we got our Cisco live t-shirt for the year slogan is all in so the other thing, as somebody who is a, uh, a, I'm a CCIE and also a net vet, net vet basically meaning that you uh, have been to this a lot. Um, so I got this little pin here, Cisco Live, CCIE or DE net vet. Uh, so I have this little pin I can wear. To showcase that status, uh, they also put this uh, NetVet ribbon on my badge and uh, even tagged my CCIE number. So, all in all, uh, this looks like one of the more decent backpacks they've done. The majority of my time at Cisco Live was spent in technical sessions. These sessions will be posted online at ciscolive.com and on their on-demand library for anyone to view. Outside of the sessions, I'll go through some of my highlights of the event. My focus was on the Cisco Data Center products and that, as that is my background. And the standout of the technical sessions for me was getting into a preview session of Nexus Cloud on the day before it was announced at the keynote. Nexus Cloud will create the ability to manage Cisco, UC, Cisco Nexus switches within the Intersight platform currently used to manage UCS. In addition to the breakout sessions, there were two keynote sessions with new announcements being made at each one. These keynotes are up on YouTube and I will link to them below. They'll also be available eventually on CiscoLive.com in the on-demand library. But among the highlights of the announcements, there were Security Cloud, Catalyst support on the Meraki platform. This one was huge. Nexus Cloud, which I'd already mentioned. New Nexus switches that are 400 gig capable with future potential for 800 gig. These would be the 9400 and 9800 switches. Thousand Eyes with WAN Insights. Kalisti, which is a microservices app monitoring platform. 
and Panoptica, a cloud-native security for applications platform. Additionally, there were also a couple of interviews. Uh, there was an interview with the CEO of Ford. There was also an interview with Farrell Williams and Mindy Kaling. And now for the top highlight from Cisco Live for me. All right, so it's day two of Cisco Live, and right now I am just uh, waiting for a Q&A session with uh, Cisco CEO Chuck Robbins. Uh, as a CCIE net vet, uh, he does these Q&A sessions for those attendees, so uh, looking forward to it. I uh, have a question to ask on behalf of my regular day job, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see this session. During the Q&A with Chuck Robbins, I asked a question related to an issue that the company that I work for is happening, so I'm not going to discuss it here. But Chuck fielded questions from the current supply chain issues to hearing complaints about Cisco's products and processes. When it came to the supply chain, he actually did state that he saw some improvement coming, and so we hope that continues to progress. Uh, all in all, there are areas where I disagree with Chuck's view on certain things and some of the leadership decisions he made around Cisco, but I will say this, Chuck does earn my respect for spending 90 minutes with the people who uh, work directly with his products and are directly impacted with what his company is doing. Cisco Live is centered around the world of solutions, which is all about hitting the like and the subscribe buttons. Actually, it's where companies who work with Cisco's products and solutions or are partnered with Cisco are able to present themselves. While walking around in the world of solutions, there were a couple of things that stood out to me and one thing that I actually had a hand in bringing to Cisco Live. There was a demonstration of a joint partnership between Cisco, Amazon, and Lockheed Martin for technology on a spacecraft that is going to travel around the moon. Cisco is providing WebEx, so the astronauts will be able to talk to Earth. There will be a 1.3 second delay due to the distance between Earth and the Moon. Amazon will provide Alexa to help with monitoring the systems, and monitoring only, no control of the pod bay doors. And of course, Lockheed will provide the spacecraft. The Cisco Crisis Response Vehicle was also interesting to check out. This was a new vehicle that they had just received right before Cisco Live. And its purpose is that it's designed to go into disaster areas, say after a hurricane, and an es establish an internet connection in order to aid with emergency services or just to help people in that area get communication services so they can have communication with their relatives or, or even with people who are trying to find them. Now, over in the NetApp booth, there was a FlexPod, which I was actually involved with in preparing for Cisco Live. I configured the Cisco portion of the FlexPod prior to the rack shipping to the show. FlexPod is a NetApp converged architecture product, which combines NetApp storage with Cisco UCS servers and Cisco Nexus switching. And this particular FlexPod, we had actually just installed a new UCS X series into. Now during the FlexPod configuration, I ran into some challenges with that new UCS X series compute system. And so while at Cisco Live, I went and had a little chat with the Cisco engineers about it and got some good feedback about what went on with it and uh, how to better support these new compute systems to smooth out the deployment of any UCS X series in the future or any deployments of flex pods or uh, other converged infrastructure. Lastly, in the, with the world of solutions, there was the NOC. Uh, all of the gear that is designed to run the network powering Cisco Live is actually sitting on display in the world of solutions. And Cisco provides real-time displays of the network, all of the stats, what's going on, and uh, it's really fun to check out, particularly knowing that this was a network that was built to handle about 16,000 people and all of the devices they have with them for one week. So being able to stand that up, get that in place and ready to support everything, and then tear it down, uh, just absolutely a, uh, an amazing feat there.
If you've attended Cisco Live, you'll know that every Cisco Live culminates with a celebration event on the last night of live. All right, gonna go see Dave Matthews Band con in concert tonight at Cisco Live. So one of the uh, fun things about Cisco Live is that they give you a unique, fun hat every year for the uh, concert or the customer appreciation event. This year at Cisco Live, the opening act was Brittany Howard, and then the headlining act was Dave Matthews Band. So it was held off-site over at the uh, UNLV campus, and uh, it was a great night, fun night. Uh, was actually kind of disappointed that Dave Matthews Band didn't play one of their biggest songs, uh, but uh, otherwise, it was a fun, enjoyable concert, and... Uh, as I mentioned there, I've got a nice fun hat to uh, remember the event by. All right, so that's a quick summary of my Cisco Live experience for Cisco Live 2022. And, uh, you know, if you, you were there, what did you enjoy about it? Or what was your biggest takeaway from Cisco Live? If you attended either in person or virtually, go ahead and comment down below. This is a little bit of a departure from my normal videos, but please check out the rest of my channel and go ahead and uh, hit the like button if you enjoy this and uh, hit the subscribe button and yeah, check out the rest of my videos. And as I always like to close these out, keep learning, keep studying, keep improving. I will see you in the next video.